As the declining cost and greater accessibility of information and communication technologies, ICT, uh, happens, we're going to see a democratization of access to it. More and more people around the world at all different income levels will be able to participate in the global economy. With that, we should be able to see a real transformation in terms of the ability for these people to contribute and ultimately lift themselves out of poverty, and that would be a very big transformation in the next few decades. For the last few decades, people have thought about information and communication technology primarily uh, in the form of their personal computer or their, maybe their laptop. Today we see the emergence of a huge array of intelligent and connected devices that are dramatically changing uh, the ways and places in which people can gain access to these capabilities. If you couple that to the cloud uh, as a broad computing platform, machine learning and its application to huge data sets, and a radical transformation in the way in which people interact with computers, a much more natural model of interaction. Together, these things are going to radically change both the number of people and the way in which those people get benefit from their computers. By using this, we're going to create a much more connected world. And ultimately, even the billions of people today that are underserved by ICT will be brought into the family. I think. In the future, it'll be important for organizations, whether they're businesses or others, to be focused on both uh, applied research as well as basic research. The future ideas uh, and products are the ones that come from the areas that we do the basic research in today. As such, both of these are going to become important. But I think it's also important for organizations to think that they have to do part of the work, but other people are also doing part of the work. And as a result, they have to find a way to adjust their organization to be able to capitalize on all these other external capabilities. So partnering, whether it's with other businesses, universities, research facilities, all of these become an important, even an essential part of thinking about how you manage your innovation going forward. So I think in the future, organizations have to think of themselves more as combiners of ideas and technology as opposed to purely the inventors by themselves. Many of the world's toughest problems, those that are really going to challenge us on a planetary scale, including education, healthcare, energy, environment, many of these problems are not ones where we've had a really broad application of information and communications technology yet. As such, it's going to be important for companies like Microsoft and others to uh, combine their efforts with other people in order to begin to address these problems. One of the places Microsoft's been involved is in both education and healthcare areas where we're working, uh, particularly with underserved communities around the world, to train millions and millions of young people who can then become the trainers of others in order to be able to spread around this knowledge and capability to use these advanced capabilities as they come along. I think it's also going to be important, though, that we recognize that the, even the developed world today is uh, struggling with the need for growth and the ability to expand their economies. And here too, I think that uh, businesses and uh, political leaders are going to have to come together and look for ways to use these important information technologies in order to improve efficiency and be able to give a boost to the economies during this time of need.